Welcome to the chapter Spaces and Boundaries 2. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Calculate the perimeter of a triangle Measure the perimeter of a rectangle Examine the area occupied by different objects Introduction Now, let us discuss the introduction of triangles and rectangles. In the previous chapter, we have learnt about the perimeter of squares. Do you know how to calculate the area of a triangle and the area of a rectangle? Let us try to answer such questions in this chapter. Area of a triangle in the given triangle, the opposite sides are equal, that is, AB is equal to AC. The height of a triangle is denoted by H and the breadth or base of a triangle is denoted by B. The base and the height of a triangle must be perpendicular to each other. In order to calculate the area of a triangle, we must multiply the base and the height of the triangle AB or AC into BC and divide it by 2. Area of a rectangle In a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. That is, AB is equal to CD and AC is equal to BD. The area of a rectangle can be calculated by multiplying any of its two adjacent sides. That is, AB into BD or AC into CD. Here, we shall learn what is perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a geometrical shape like square, rectangle, triangle, etc. or the measurement of the distance around something which is having a boundary. In our daily life, we see many situations like fencing a house with a wire along the edges to construct a rectangular aquarium, etc. which gives us an idea of perimeter. Now let us see how we can calculate the perimeter of a triangle. A person started walking from A to B and distance covered between them is 6 cm. He travels from B to C for a distance of 5 cm and from C he travels to his starting point A. Since the opposite sides are equal in a triangle AB is equal to AC is equal to 6 cm. Perimeter of a triangle is the distance around the geometrical shape. Hence, the perimeter of a triangle is equal to the sum of its all sides is equal to AB plus BC plus AC equals to 6 plus 5 plus 6 that is equal to 17 centimeters. Similarly, the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to the sum of its all sides that is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. Now, let us do a lab activity to find the areas of a triangle. Click each tab to know more. Objective The aim of this activity is to measure the area of the object with the help of squares. Materials required the materials used in this lab activity are centimeter graph paper, triangle. Procedure Take a graph paper and a triangle. First place the triangle on the graph paper. Count the number of total squares and count two half squares as one full square. Note Count two half squares as a full square. Observation. In this activity, we observe a total of 15 squares which are covered by the triangle. There are 6 half covered squares which can be counted as 3 full squares. Conclusion. From the activity, we can see that the area of the triangle is the total number of full squares and half squares. 
there are six half covered squares which are counted as three full squares hence the conclusion which is seen in the table shown on the screen now let us do some exercise problems Now let us see some examples of spaces of rectangles. Now let us do some exercise problems. See the following figure and answer the following questions. Let us see the following conversation on the area of bigger spaces. Good morning students. Good morning sir. In the previous sessions, we have learned how to calculate the area of small spaces using squares. Isn't it? Yes sir. In this session, we are going to learn how to calculate the area of large spaces using squares. Okay sir. Let's take this classroom as an example and find the area of this classroom. But sir, this is already filled with squares, so how do we calculate it? Not a problem. Let's count all the squares that are covered by the classroom. By adding all of them, we will get the total area of the classroom. Okay sir, let me count 1, 2, 3, 30. Sir, there are 30 squares. How do we calculate this area? In a square, all sides are equal. So, area equal to sum of sides. Hmm, the area of each square is 6 meters. Then the total area of the floor of the classroom equal to 30 square into 6 meters, which is equal to 180 square meters. Absolutely correct. Thank you, sir. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Answer button to verify your answers. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Perimeter is the distance around a geometrical shape. The base and height of a triangle must be perpendicular to each other. In order to calculate the area of triangle, we should multiply the base and the height of the triangle, AB or AC into BC and divide the product by 2. In a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. That is, AB is equal to CD and AC equal to BD. The area of a rectangle can be calculated by multiplying any of its two adjacent sides, that is, AB into BD or AC into CD. The perimeter of a triangle is equal to the sum of its all sides, that is, AB plus BC plus AC. Similarly, the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to the sum of its all sides, that is, AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. Follow-up work. What is the area of a triangle if the length of each side is 6 meters? What is the area of a rectangle if its opposite sides are A and B meters respectively?
test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Spaces and Boundaries 2.